morning everyone it is July 24th so it is day one of the 2017 book tubeathon so the book tubeathon started last night at midnight and I was just too tired to do too much you know to do a lot of reading so I read about I'd say 20 pages in City of Glass by Cassandra Clare this is the third book in the Mortal Instruments series so I am currently on page 140 so I have a decent amount of this book to read during the book tubeathon I decided that I was gonna vlog that I'm going to vlog the book tubeathon and I can't decide if I want to do like one big vlog post it at the end of the booktubeathon or if I want to do like multiple day vlogs I do work Wednesday and Thursday and I work 12 hour shifts so I probably won't be able to upload any videos those two days so maybe I'll try doing like day one and two and then the days that I can. So I'm gonna start my morning by making some coffee, making some breakfast, and I think I'm going to read Alice, Alice's Adventures in Wonderland by Lewis Carroll. I've been wanting to read this book for a while now and I figured that this would be like a really good book to start the booktubeathon because I can read it pretty quickly and I can read it outside because if you can see it's a little gloomy outside um, so it's about 80 degrees which we don't see that really often here in Texas so that'll be really nice. Okay, so I just finished reading Alice in Wonderland. It is such a pretty day outside, but now it's starting to get a little too bright. As you can tell, it's like real starting to get really sunny and the temperature is creeping up. It's about 90 degrees now. So I think I'm gonna go inside and probably do a little bit of house work since it's my day off from work. I need to do some laundry, some cleaning, stuff like that. And I think I'm gonna listen to Harry Potter and the Prisoner of Azkaban the audiobook while I do all of that. I'm really feeling like Harry Potter like right now. My dog is loving outside. <laughs> Don't mind my grass. It's really really long. Wicket! Hi! Hey guys, it is now 3 o'clock and I've gotten a few chapters of Prisoner of Azkaban listened to. There's a Twitter sprint that's going to be happening between 5 and 7, but I'm an hour behind, so it's really 4 and 6 my time. So what I think I might do is I think for the next hour I'm going to maybe do try and edit some of this video. I think I'm going to go ahead and try and post... Um, like a booktube vlog, you know, day one tonight. So I'm going to do a little bit of editing, and then I think I might, while I do that, I'm going to listen to a little bit more Harry Potter. And then I think at 4, when the Twitter sprint starts my time, I'm going to read A City of Glass by Cassandra Clare. So I will get back to you guys in a little bit. Hey guys, so it is now about 7.30 and so far I'm really happy with my progress for day one. I was able to read a full book um, outside, so I was able to complete you know, one of seven books and a full challenge. Plus there's a person on the cover, so technically two challenges. And that was Alice's Adventures in Wonderland. So in that book was about 100 pages. And then I got a good amount listened to of Harry Potter and the Prisoner of Azkaban. So I'm really happy with that. I didn't think I was gonna be able to listen to as much as I did, so that's really exciting. And then I also was able to read uh, about 150 pages 
pictures or so of City of Glass during that reading sprint. So I'm really happy with that. I'm really enjoying City of Glass now a lot more than I was before. I think the problem with before, or the problem I had before is because I was having trouble connecting with Clary. Now I feel like she's finally starting to grow up a little bit and realize that she needs to think before she acts and she's starting to understand the world that she is now like immersed in and I just I'm really enjoying her character a lot more I'm also enjoying the new characters that we're getting and things are kind of starting to tie up so I'm really really liking it I have about this much left so I'm not gonna be able to finish it tonight that's for sure but I'm hoping I can get another good chunk of this book read because there will be another reading sprint between 11 and 1 a.m. But it's going to be 10 and midnight my time, which is perfect because at midnight I can just like stop reading and then I can edit my last few clips of the day. Well, that's another thing I was able to do. I was able to edit all of the uh, footage that I filmed earlier today. So that is fantastic. Yeah, so so far I'm really happy how things are going. I think I'm going to make some tea read a little bit more in City of Glass. All right, I will talk to you guys later. Hey guys, so it is now 10.30. It is getting kind of late. I'm starting to get a little tired, but I've been reading City of Glass since about 8-ish, and um, I've read about 160 pages, and I only have 180 pages left in the book, so I can't decide if I just want to try and finish it tonight or if I'm going to, I'm just going to try and read as much as I can tonight. There's still a reading sprint going on on Twitter right now between uh, 10 and 12, or I mean 11 and 1, but it's 10 and 12 my time. And so I just finished participating in the last 30 minutes of it. It was kind of fun. They did a, um, like, detective. Ariel was kidnapped, so we had to, like, find clues on Twitter. So it was really fun. I thought it was a really cute, unique Twitter sprint. So I'm going to go ahead and try and get a little bit more reading done, probably edit this clip and then upload my video. So this is going to be my last clip of the night and I'm going to try and read as much as I can. I want to finish tonight, but I have a feeling I'm going to get way too tired. So maybe I can read like, you know, 60 or so pages and then finish the rest tomorrow morning. All right, guys. Well, I hope you guys had a great first day of the book Tubathon, and I will see you tomorrow. Bye.